morning everyone! How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, my name is Angelica and very welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a sit down video, so I haven't filmed this look, but I have used though a palette on my eyes that I'm going to talk about today. So today I wanted to... I have a lot of... Uh, Let's start over. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I have a huge makeup collection. And my style has changed um, since I started with makeup, like YouTube. Uh, back in the days, I loved just colorful. I hated neutrals. Now I'm like, I love neutrals. And I'm not into that super bright anymore. But I do love colors. So I, I have changed. And that is okay. But I wanted to pick out three brands and I wanted to show you all of the palettes I have in these specific brands and I wanted to tell you which one is my favorite. If I was just able to keep one of these palettes from each brand, what would that be? So I thought that could be fun and I just picked three brands because I have a lot of palettes and I want to show you all the palettes from each brand. So I want to show you every palette I have and we would be here all day if I would pick like five brands. So I just took three brands today and I can do this again and with three other brands if you're interested. But I just think it's fun to show you guys my collection and show you guys and tell you guys what I think about these palettes now when, when I've changed a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically it and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's start with the brand that I actually have on my eyes today. This is my favorite brand, one of my favorite brands, and I love uh, their color stories, they theme, their themes, and they seem really, really nice. And yeah, it's Nomad Cosmetics, and I have a lot of palettes here. This is my biggest pile here, so I'm just gonna count nine palettes. So yeah, let's let's start. <laughs> So I'm going to show you every palette and then I'm going to tell you guys which one I would keep. And this is quite hard actually. <laughs> I don't know if I have decided yet, but we're going to see. I'm going to start with this one. This is the first one I got. So this is the, let me see here, Lake Como. Last year we actually was at Lake Como, like vacation, me and my family. And it's beautiful there. I love, love uh, Italy. So yeah, you have all these like villas and you have the lake and yeah, we open it up. This is the old formula. I think they have reformulated during the years. I can see that. So this is not like my favorite formula. Like it's okay, but there is better palettes here that has better uh, formulas, especially when it comes to the shimmers, because these are these are okay. I mean, this is like a duochrome, but they are not like this glittery special shades that they have later on. These are more like shimmers, <laughs> regular shimmers. A little more metallic though, but yeah. You have some satin shades here. I love actually this one. I I, I don't use blue that often, but this one is so beautiful, so beautiful. And I love they have like a dark blue here so you can deepen up and the greens and the yellow. So this is very, very stunning. And they also have these embossings always in these palettes. Next up, we have the palette I have on my eyes today. You can see like, I don't know if you can see the shift in this shimmer here, but it shifts like green gold and it has like a base color that is like, almost like a, not orange, but al almost like a warm orange. And it's this palette. This is so beautiful, guys. This is the Orient Express. And I don't know if you have this anymore. They have it in the small size. They did a small size, I don't know, half of it maybe, with, could that be six shades or something? I have the big one. This is Velvet. This is so beautiful. I My dream is to go on the Orient Express, but, Oh my goodness, it's so expensive. I have seen uh, videos where they travel with the Orient Express and it's like over the top. It's so, it's so luxurious. It's so, it's such a vibe. I mean, it's, it's iconic, but yeah, that will probably will be a dream <laughs> until I die. <laughs> but this is the palette anyway, it's super stunning. And here we have the inside of the palette. And I use today this, this, and this, this is kind of like, almost like a green brown, like a dirty 
brown and then I use this shade this is so special you guys this is as I said what I have on today it's so it's so gorgeous I think this is a beautiful palette it is a little bit all over the place when it comes to the colors but I don't know I don't think I mind that it's just it's just very beautiful this shade is beautiful this one um, the greens are beautiful the neutrals here I love they have neutrals they have a white here I think this is a beautiful palette and I love to use this in my day-to-day -day life actually because I get very inspired when I open it because it has a lot of colors but it's not like crazy colors it's more like you can take a neutral you can take a color a colorful shadow uh, colorful colorful shadow oh my god and mix it a little bit and yeah it's a very stunning palette I must say am I doing this in the order <laughs> <laughs> in a order. I don't know. Do I? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, because, uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you this palette. Oh my god, this is so cute, you guys. This is a Tokyo Harioka palette, and let's just take a minute to see how beautiful this is, how cute this is, how, I mean, this is so beautiful. Oh my god, it's so cute, you guys. These small cats, and you have ice cream, you have small animals, rabbits. It's just so, so, so cute. And when we open it up, you have a pastel palette, and I love this pastel palette. It's so gorgeous, it's beautiful, and they did so good with this one, because you have all the matte shadows here, uh, and you also have a dark shade. It's not like a black, but it's like a very dark shade, <laughs> grayish black. And then you have satin shades here. So I love to use these actually because these are like a matte, but it has a like a like a shimmer to it, like a glow, but not like shimmery. Just like a you know when you when you turn, it just catches the light. It's beautiful. And then you have special shades here. These are toppers. So if you think this is a yellow, it's shifting in pink I think and this one green it shifts is this also pink I don't know it, it shifts in other shades if you put them on your lid and it's very it's very beautiful I think they did really nice with this palette I absolutely love this one as well so yeah I said it it's gonna be hard to pick one and then we have this one this is the Iceland Fire and Ice I love this palette again but this is so unique in my collection so I'm gonna show you this is how it looks you have the row here with the warm tones this is not unique in my collection I have reds and uh, and I have oranges but the blues here and this grayish green shade and this is so unique in my collection I don't have anything like it and I feel like it works with my skin tone it works with me and what I like so I love when it has a little gray to it so this specific shade I love and when it comes to the blue I love this blue this has a gray tone in it and it works so good for me <laughs> when I want to use blue so I feel like this is definitely a palette maybe I'm gonna pick this one because it is so unique and the shades here are very unique in my collection and I feel like look at that I mean, how stunning this green. Beautiful palette and very unique shades. I have never seen these shades in other, in other palettes. And I have a lot. So, And I don't have every palette, of course. Um, <laughs> there is a lot of brands and a lot of palettes. But I don't know. Um, it's just very unique anyway. So we have this America's Parks palette. And yeah, this is the theme of it. The, by the way, Norma Cosmetics are their theme theming is like travel <laughs> so it could be places it could be cities it could be countries yeah so this is like natural parks in america and i i have been to a few of these so i think it's it's very fun anyway <laughs> it's fun uh when they have like a theming that you can relate to uh, if you have been to these places or you want to go you always have something uh, with places and countries like maybe you want to go there someday maybe you have been there 
yeah, a connection. So uh, here we have this palette and this is gorgeous. Again, a beautiful palette. I love they have put in a little bit of cool tone. They have the warm tone. They have a row of green that looks so stunning. Uh, this one, I mean, look at that. And all these special shades here, like they are marble. And I love, this is my favorite shade here. God, it's beautiful. And the yellow, of course. But stunning palette, again. Oh my God, how many times can I say this? This is uh, the Haunted Euro palette. Look at this front. It's so cool. And this was, um, I don't know how many years, two, three years ago, maybe two years ago. Last year they had another, like, uh, I wanted to get that one, but I didn't. But it was like, um, oh, I can't remember. I can see it in front of me. Well, it's like around Halloween palette, and this is like around Halloween palette. It's a little bit spooky, uh, a little bit grungy over here. Love that. And you have like warmer tones here. You have some greens here. It's gorgeous and yeah, I think this is a beautiful palette and I have used it a lot. I feel like this is also a palette I can use in my day-to-day -day life because you have these pops of neutrals that you can actually like pull in and just use a shimmer and it looks gorgeous and perfect for work. <laughs> and now we have a very bright palette and as I said, I don't use bright colors that much anymore. I use it, but but I bought this one. <laughs> this came around summertime and this is the Paradise Islands palette. I mean, look at this front. This is like paradise. And look at this. How gorgeous is this? What I love about this palette though is that it has a little bit of pastel vibes to it. You know, you have these like almost pastel shades. They are vibrant, but they are more in the pastel not this one and not this one, but all the other shades, can you see? Like they are very soft in colors. And that is what I absolutely love right now when it comes to colors. I love like pastel shades. I love, it could be bright, but a little bit softer, a little bit white in them. So it makes it a little more toned down, but also bright. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean, but uh, this contains uh, mattes and shimmers and this blue. Again, I don't use blue that often, but this is gorgeous. So gorgeous. It's like the sea uh, in these like tropical islands, like the tropical, in the tropicals. I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys, we have two palettes left. Oh my God. And I have just, oh my God. I don't know. I, feel, I need to speed up here. Okay, so we have this one. This is the <laughs> Fête de Provence. This is also very pretty. You have pinks, yellow, and purples. Absolutely stunning. Same here, good quality, and I love it. <laughs> now we have to speed up. So um, this is the Hudson Valley. This is one of my favorite as well. This you have, I mean, this I've used so much. This is my favorite one. Uh, so you have neutrals, you have greens, you have shimmers here, you have reds and uh, oranges, and you have browns and yellow. This is amazing. So which one would I keep? I would keep this one or this one. The thing is this one I use, I can use every day and I will never get tired of this color story. It's, it's not unique, but it is a color story that I, I actually, if I have, if I ha didn't have this one, I would definitely keep this one. I would definitely keep this one. But if I was thinking about a palette, I just can keep one and I need to have in my collection. I think I'm gonna use, uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep this one because I don't have these unique shades in, in my collection. So I need to keep this one just because of these special shades here. So this one I will have as a keeper. So next brand is Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have four palettes so this will go a little bit quicker. I have this sultry palette. Oh my god, look at this front and look at this beautiful palette. If you love cool tones, this is a perfect palette, I must say. You have really dark shades here. You have some mid-tone shades. 
you have some lighter shades. This pop here, I don't know why it's here. I don't use it, but I use all of these neutral cool tone and warm tone shimmers. You have some warm tones and you have some nice cool tones. Love this. I Every time I use this, it turns out really, really nice, the looks. And then we have this one. So this is the Nouveau palette and this has a little more like bigger pans and I really love the shades of this one. I haven't, I have used it, but I don't think I think the Salt Grip palette and the other palettes has better quality when it comes to the shimmers, actually, uh, than this one. So this is not my favorite, but absolutely a beautiful palette. And then we have the Norvina, and this is how... And there we had a brush here. <laughs> Gonna take that out. Uh, here is the palette, and as you can see, neutrals, pinks, and purples. I have this in my collection, so it's not unique enough to to keep it. I mean, to keep, uh, if I would just keep one. And then we have the Amrisi palette. Love the packaging is, again. And this has more variety. So you have some neutrals, you have some pops of pinks, purple. You have this blue here. You have some neutrals, you have some glitter shades, you have some shimmer shades. This is a really, really nice palette. and. If I didn't have the Sultry, I would keep this one, but I would definitely keep the Sultry palette. Definitely. This is a this is an easy choice for me, so I would definitely keep this palette right here. Tell me down below if you have this. It's stunning. The last brand I'm going to talk about is Natasha Denona. <laughs> okay, Natasha Denona. It's It seems like everyone loves Natasha Denona and her formulas. I must say, I am not super impressed with some shimmers in her palettes. I mean, I don't know what you... Uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys anyone is lying or anything. Everyone has their own truth, but there is shimmers in Natasha Denona formula that I don't think it's worth the money because this is an expensive brand. But the mattes and the uh, cream to powder formula so good. Okay, I'm gonna start very quickly. Zendo, the Zendo palette. This is not my favorite palette. I mean, these shimmers are so luckluster. Do you say that? Like, they are not showing off that good on your eyes. They are a little bit dry. I don't know. I have better shimmers in ColourPop palettes. Let me just put it like that. But the mattes here are stunning, and this, like the cream to powder, I am keeping it just for this shade, I think, the cream to powder, because it's stunning and beautiful and it's a great formula. But this is the palette anyway. I have the bronze palette. Uh, beautiful neutrals. I mean, it's a neutral palette. Again, love the cream to powders here. I think we just have one here, unfortunately, but I love the mattes here. Oh, so good. And the shimmers are okay, actually. Some of the shimmers are okay. These are okay. These are not good. I mean, not, they are good, but they are not like over the top uh, good. And then we have the love palette. I have so many. <laughs> uh, love palette. Everyone loved this one. And I can say it was okay. I didn't fell in love with this one as much as other creators did, but it is a pretty palette and I have nothing well, again, the shimmers, so not over the top good, but it's okay, and uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm, I don't think the color store is unique enough for me to keep it, and it's like if I would just keep one. I have the Retro palette. This one I actually like better. Like, I like this color story a lot. I love it's more cool tone. I love... Is more berries but I think this one is it's actually really really nice and I yeah I think this is really really nice and then we have the Metropolis palette and here we have a bunch of colors we actually have shades that is already existing in palettes I think we have a few here that is from the gold palette I'm gonna show you the gold palette so I love this color story. I love the greens here, the olive greens, the murky greens, the different kind of warm tones, 
a little more cool tone, neutrals. I I think this is a good palette, like an everyday good palette, and you can also go very glam. This one I really, really, really love. Uh, I think it's a beautiful palette with a pop of, if you like blue, I don't use that, but you know, a pop of something here as well, not just neutrals. And then we have the gold palette. This is beautiful. This is the original. I don't know, did she came out with round two or something? I don't know, but this stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. This is one this is my favorite. Uh, actually, Natasha Denona. If you see what I have on my eyes, that is a very similar, I think, to this one here with a little bit of green, or maybe it was this one. Anyways, the shimmers here are amazing. Uh, she has a, uh, two shimmers here that is a little more like, you know, nothing special at all. But this, 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 this one, and this one is amazing. This one also, this one is also good. And the mattes in this, it's so pigmented, so good quality. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. This is my favorite palette from her. But if I could just keep one, I don't know if this one would be it. Because I feel like you have more variety in this uh, Metropolis palette. So I think, actually, I would keep this one. Because you have some of the shades from the gold palette in this one. And you have more variety in shades. So I think I'm actually going to keep this one. Uh, if I could just keep one, I would keep this one. Okay, guys, this was it. I mean... <laughs> We spent a lot of time at Nomad Cosmetics, but I had like, what is that, nine palettes. But I had a lot here as well from Natasha Denona. Yeah, uh, maybe not six palettes. <laughs> I have had one mini palette that I decluttered actually, that I didn't use. I think it was the Retro Mini. I didn't like that one, so, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video, this sit down video and if you want to see more check out my channel. I mean I do makeup content here and I also do fashion related videos. I love clothes and I love handbags and I also do vlogs if we want to see what I do in my day to day life. Check it out if you like it, subscribe and like this video if you like it guys. But with that being said, have a wonderful day and I see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.